What is going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good week so far. So today, I just wanted to take a different approach and make a video about the most underrated game I have ever played and personally enjoyed. And that game is Resident Evil 6. I remember back when it was released in the early 2000s, I absolutely could not wait for that game to arrive. I went to my local mom and pop shop and got it two weeks early. And certain friends didn't exactly like the way the game looked, so Resident Evil 6 was actually made fun of by a lot of people in the video game community, simply for the fact that it looked so over the top and ridiculous. Most people are saying that it didn't even look like a Resident Evil game at all. And I truly believe that Resident Evil 6 is the quintessential reason and catalyst for a lot of the hate that the Resident Evil series receives daily. That complete shift to action slash survival horror polarized a ton of fans to say the very least now i'm kind of a sucker when it comes to resident evil games and movies or any other form of media based on the series especially at the time since i was pretty young so i was making a bunch of music videos on my bare bones youtube channel at the time based on resident evil 6 and talking about it every single day with people that just wanted to talk about it and when i finally got my hands on resident evil 6 two weeks before it came out i couldn't get enough of it and I couldn't believe there was so much content in this one Xbox 360 game. All four of the main campaigns together equaled a 25-hour heart-pounding action-adventure slash survival horror game, which means that Resident Evil 6 was actually a lot longer than Resident Evil 4, which was the longest Resident Evil before RE6 came out. So not only did I love almost every single aspect, minus some Jake and Sherry sections, but it was personally the longest survival horror slash action game I've ever played. And pretty much by the time my play session was over with Resident Evil 6, I completely lost my voice. It was as if I actually went on a roller coaster ride for 20 hours straight. But I didn't play the game 20 hours straight. It actually took me about two weeks since I was going to school at the time to complete RE6. And I still remember playing that Leon campaign for the first time and how incredible the graphics looked in comparison to Resident Evil 5 or the 360. And the Leon campaign went on for about eight hours in my first playthrough. After Leon's campaign was completed, I couldn't believe that I had two more campaigns to complete, not knowing that Ada Wong's campaign was after all of them. So pretty much Leon's campaign was everything I wanted from RE6. RE6. And then there was even more to the game. Now, I wasn't really a huge fan of the whole co-op campaign thing. So when I finally finished all three of the campaigns and unlocked Ada Wong's, which was a single player campaign, that was the damn cherry on top for me. But playing co-op was actually a lot of fun, even while playing with just the AI, because with Resident Evil 5, Sheva needed ammunition. She had her own health bar, so that means she had a chance of dying. But when Resident Evil Revelations 1 came out, they removed the life bar and the need for your co-op AI partner to gather ammunition as well. And Capcom brought that over to Resident Evil 6, which was such a welcome addition for me especially. So your AI partners weren't anywhere near as annoying as Sheva was in Resident Evil 5. In fact, most of the time they helped out a lot, except for when you're at a door and you just need your co-op partner to get to you, but they're too busy locked in with an enemy or trying to fight them which might indirectly kill you if the enemy catches up to you and not your AI partner. So I wasn't really a fan of the whole co-op thing and playing Ada's story was just amazing. It brought me back to the old Resident Evil 4 days. And the main reason why I'm talking about Resident Evil 6 and how underrated it was is also because I think it has a lot of issues that could be addressed if they make a Resident Evil 6 remake. And it seems like Capcom is already thinking about a Resident Evil 5 remake or it's in development as I speak. And that's something I can see as beneficial to the entire series if the catalyst for all of the Resident Evil drama is taken out by the most important remake ever. Now I'm not saying if Resident Evil 6 is remade all of Capcom's problems for Resident Evil will be wiped out but I think most of the hate for Capcom and Resident Evil will be wiped out if Capcom properly remakes Resident Evil 6 to represent the action and the horror in the series. There are a lot of pursuer enemies in Resident Evil 6 which would work perfectly if they remake RE6. There's a location in China where a different type of regenerator that splits its body parts into different areas of the entire level chases you throughout it and starts slowly reassembling its body. That is the most creative monster I've ever seen in any game and I can't even imagine how it would look remade with the RE engine or now the Rex engine. 
But I know Capcom has a lot of things on their plate, especially the most highly requested remake, which is the Dino Crisis series. Now, it's going to be a very long time until we see a Resident Evil 6 remake, but that would be the only remake that I think would be in Capcom's best interest. It is undoubtedly the Resident Evil sequel that everyone looks at when they say Resident Evil went downhill. It is the downhill moment in the series, including some spin-offs, but most people count the number Resident Evils as certain milestones in the series and Resident Evil 6 represents a lot of the dark days for Capcom with the RE series and Capcom's entire career and I think if Capcom remakes RE6 it will inevitably be the biggest milestone for Capcom since the original Resident Evil 4. Now they are thinking about remaking either Resident Evil 5 or Code Veronica. I think Resident Evil 6 needs a remake more than Code Veronica and definitely Resident Evil 5. Because as a kid while playing that game, it certainly showed a ton of potential. The combat in Resident Evil 6 was among the best I've ever seen in the series and remains some of the most fluid till this day. I would say Resident Evil 6's combat is even more fluid than Resident Evil 4 Remake's combat. And RE4 Remake's combat is impressive, so I can't even imagine what they could do with it with the newest RE engine. But I wasn't initially trying to make a video about remaking Resident Evil 6. I just wanted to point out that Resident Evil 6 is the most underrated Resident Evil and probably the most hated. But at the time of its release, I loved it so much. And I'm continuing to play that game even till this day. A lot of people make fun of it, but I love the fact that it's a 25 hour action thriller slash survival horror game and it has all of my favorite characters from the series in it minus claire redfield and jill valentine but yeah playing it again these last few weeks have really highlighted the fact that resident evil 6 has so much potential even with a remake if they just take the dna for resident evil 6 a lot of people say the game didn't have a good story but i thought the game's intertwining stories between four different campaigns was insanely complex and ambitious it showed capcom's range with storytelling and i thought it was an exceptional story but there are a lot of complications in it which kind of bring me back to the point that resident evil 6 in some places doesn't quite shine like it does with the combat and intertwining characters but for the most part it was basically resident evil the cameo game but i could swear as a little kid when i once went to chinatown in new york i saw a resident evil game that had mercenaries mode with every character claire redfield chris and they were selling it like it was an official game in Chinatown. I think a lot of people used to mod the old Resident Evils to have every single main character in one game in Mercenaries mode. And Resident Evil 6 was essentially that game where it cameoed almost every single mainline character in the series. So when it came out, it was pretty much my dream game. And with all the characters like Carla, Ada, Leon, Chris, Sherry, Jake, just seeing Sherry come back for the first time in a long, long time was enough to justify buying the game personally and i thought sherry was a good character even though she was simply the love interest of jake i thought they could have done a lot more with her which again will lead to a fantastic remake if they ever touch that fiery water that resident evil 6 is still under till this day but i would love to see a more proper storyline for sherry jake and the rest of the characters in re6 and no doubt once that happens capcom will officially close the floodgates for almost all resident evil hate but like I said before, RE fans can be extremely toxic. No matter how much good Capcom tries to do for the series and tries to fix, it's just such a huge and popular series that it's no doubt going to get hate for one thing or another, regardless of what they try to do and fix. But something tells me that fixing Resident Evil 6 will actually speak to everyone in the community and fix a lot of the community's problems, along with RE6's. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Resident Evil 6. Did you actually love the game? when it first released, or are you just another RE6 hater? Either way, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Later.